Hey, so my name is Tessa, and I'm just going to read through a couple of questions real quick for class and kind of give you some of my perspectives on it. So on the local and the meso level, we need to I need to reflect on like possibilities for interrupting and challenging oppressive policies and practices in my community or a place of practice that contribute to homelessness or to the marginalization or stigmatization of those in need of shelter. What areas of the cycle of oppression would be disputed? So I would definitely say misinformation is the biggest one for my community because I live in rural Idaho. And there's definitely this mentality that if you are on government assistance, then you are somebody who is lazy. Um, and that really doesn't translate well, especially because there's a lot of farmers in the area and people that I have personally known who will be in poverty, but they will refuse assistance because of like they believe that they'll be seen as lazy or that it will be bad. Um, and negative and that you never trust the government like just beliefs like that and so misinformation is definitely generated in that regard and um and so like if you're also like a person who maybe is like a refugee or is from a foreign country and you come here on your own welfare or on assistance it can be even be seen as more like a negative thing like oh look at those um look at that minority group over there just being lazy and not wanting to work when they come in this country and those are kind of the beliefs that I deal with more on a daily basis when I live in my community. And so I would say that the way to fix my community or help it would be to specifically um, spread like positive information or like accurate information on homelessness, on poverty in general, and about those kinds of populations rather than can letting the belief continue to fester um, because the, it's not going to be supported if there were um, things for our community. So we do have a food bank, but we don't have a homeless shelter. We don't really have any resources for anybody and everyone's just expected to go through the local church. And due to the culture in that regard, many people don't anyway and would rather um, be on the streets. Um, and so like I... I um, rent from a landlord and he personally expressed to me about how he spent years being homeless because he refused to take assistance because of that belief system. So it's definitely something that needs to be adjusted and maybe some education on like minorities and refugee status and stuff like that. And how like just because you're on government assistance doesn't mean that you're just a lazy person in the population. And so for the last question, it is on the macro level, and it said, what would be your top three suggestions for federal policies or practices to reduce homelessness and protect vulnerable populations from experiencing homelessness? What areas of the cycle of oppression would be disrupted? And so the first one that I would focus on is like um, landlord education. So in the um, statistics that we read, it mentioned that people of color were more likely to be like charged extra rent compared to their white counterparts um, and just stuff like that. And so I would definitely say that landlord education, like maybe a module would be required for landlords. I feel like that that would be something that would be really helpful. And then I believe um, single motherhood is something that's really a challenge. And so I would say income adjusted rent for single mothers because single motherhood is more experienced by populations of, um, by minority populations and so being able to like help mother single mothers out with finances would also prevent more children from experiencing homelessness and then I would say just maybe a government increase in income-based housing um, and that would I believe and based on the poverty line um, in this, the different areas in the different states and I would think that that would be the best way to hand to like help vulnerable people prevent for, and prevent them from experiencing homelessness and just to help assist them in general and help assist children from not experiencing it as well.